At long last, the wait is over. A warm welcome to Wembley. This is Derek Ray, joined in the commentary box by Stuart Robson. And we're approaching kickoff time in what promises to be a spectacular FA Cup final. It is Liverpool up against Leeds United. Well, Derek, as a youngster growing up, this was the day that every young footballer dreamt of. Playing in the FA Cup final, walking out in front of 100,000 fans at Wembley, broadcast around the world, it still brings a tingle to my spine. And I'm really looking forward to this one. Well, on the way into the game, so many people were asking us about Sadio Mane, a truly top talent. What sort of performance do you think we'll see from him today, Stuart? Well, Derek, we know he's got great pace, whether he's running with the ball or running in behind defenders. And that's what makes him such a threat on the counter-attack. And I'm sure that's going to be the tactics today from his team. begins in goal. Andrew Robertson starts with Trent Alexander-Arnold in the fullback positions. Mohamed Salah plays with Sadio Mane out wide and rather than use a strike partnership they've gone with just the one player in attack. And a look at the Leeds United starting 11. Well it's a flat 4-5-1 which would suggest they're going to try and play on the counter-attack. However that will only work if they don't drop too deep and can't support the main striker. And so the match is underway. Patrick Bamford. And now it's Phillips. Rafinha. Rodrigo. Still could be dead. Well, he stumped it out of there without much fuss. Stuart Dallas. Liverpool have it once again. No luck for Sadio Mane. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Henderson. This is Salah. And he read it well. Fabinho. And here's Robertson. Salah. Jota. That's how to rob them of possession. Harrison. Well, that is how to run at defenders. Oh, nice ball over the top to chase. Now a decent position. Rifled against the post, but back in play. And offside. Well, close one. Matip now, Fabinho, Alexander-Arnold, a decent position for Liverpool to be in, and Mane in the thick of things, and a goal! Liverpool strike first in the final, and just listen to their fans! Well, here's the replay, and it's a really inviting ball played into the box, begging players to attack it, and then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. A 
And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Rafinha. I must say, this looks promising. And this could pose problems for the defenders. The end product just wasn't there. Well, they're doing their best to get on level terms here. Well, it's a decent effort, but they're still trailing. They need something special here. Well, Liverpool haven't dominated possession, as you can see, but their attacking play has been really incisive. It's been a really good display from them so far. Alexander-Arnold. And Mohamed Salah now. Alexander-Arnold. Oh, he's lost possession of the ball. Could cross it in here. Fabinho, no way through, denied again, and the referee blows for a foul. to extend the lead here. The keeper going in the right direction and saving it. And short it is. Sends it back. Shots up. And closed down straight away. Another block. Cleach. Dallas. Two minutes of stoppage time coming up. An awful lot of green space to run into. Options in the middle. Calvin Phillips. Could be threatening. Rodrigo. Oh, a goal! He's equalised! Was he made for moments like this? On an occasion like this? Well, let's look at this again. The one and two touch passing is absolutely outstanding to play around the pressure. And the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Diogo Jota. You can sense the threat is there. Alexander Arnold. Fed over towards the back post. And the danger is still there. 
threat over for now, it seems. Thiago. How about the cross? Mane. Can he find the net? Oh, it's in to give them the lead in the final. The stuff that dreams are made of. Well, here it is again. It was a good finish, but the keeper has to do better at his near post. He was beaten far too easily on that occasion. So, back underway. Intriguing contest, this, given the 2-1 scoreline. Shackleton promising attack this has the strength to hang on to it but he's got past his man Calvin Phillips now with Bamford Mateusz Klich Rodrigo a very effective challenge put in and my opportunity it is Alexander-Arnold and return to Henderson that's a great stop well, his reflexes are so good there that's a fantastic stop time for a change then number 20 Diogo Jota to be replaced by number 9 and played short fine tackle there to prevent the chance well let's see what they have in store for them on the break well I think it's fair to say the fans aren't too happy with that decision Shackleton making excellent progress with the ball at his feet sends it back well, a tremendous block tremendous ball played through well plenty of power but just too much height on it They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Number six, Tiago, to be replaced by number 17, Curtis Jones. Jones on the ball. Well, shortly we'll hear the final whistle, but not quite yet. Can Liverpool preserve the win? Stuart, what have you made of their performance? Well, it's been a really good contest, you have to say. But overall, I think they've just about deserved to be in the lead here. Can they now just see this game through for what will be an excellent win? They get forward, but time is very much against them here. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. Free kick awarded to Liverpool. Six, 
And the play stop. They will make the change now. Number 13, Jordan Henderson to be replaced by number 7, James Milner. Substitution for Leeds United. Coming off the pitch, number 33, Matthias Cook. Coming onto the pitch, number 11, Tyler Roberts. Roberto Firmino. Oh, he's really up. throws himself up the ball if they can score again from this corner it probably would be the end of the story <laughs> playing it in well, he was being closely watched. Goal kick. Well, the defender knew he couldn't get to the ball first, but he just did enough to put him off there. Llorente. Rodrigo It's with Diego Llorente Now oh, this is far from over We're going to have five minutes of stoppage time Bamford are getting it forward But they need an equaliser Patrick Bamford It's a good looking ball in behind Defended well Oh the keeper at fault Rodrigo it's offside, and perhaps he should have been a bit more alert. And maybe a little bit more aware in the box. He was just too static. Milner. And there goes the final whistle. The cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. Memories are being made. Well, just look at those scenes down there, Derek. What a contrast in emotions. Brilliant for the winners, despair for the losers. But overall, the right team won today. Yeah, you can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Real solidarity. Well, this is special for everybody at the club. What a great moment for any young player. And this is what you dream about when you start playing football. When you're playing in the playground, you want to win a cup. Brilliant moment. Yes, a special moment in the career of any footballer. And now for the trophy lift itself. The cup winners. Well, you can just see what it means to those players and the manager. That's fantastic stuff.